Welcome to this tutorial on iStation's Parent Portal. Our Parent Portal was designed to equip our parents with information about how their child is performing on our monthly assessment and resources to help support your child with home learning. In our tutorial today, we'll go through our Parent Portal and learn how you can access both that important information on your child as well as resources that you can use in the home environment. When you log into the parent portal, you'll be directed to this screen. This is your welcome screen. If you haven't downloaded the iStation app already, there is an icon here that you can click that will walk you through the steps for downloading the app on your home device so that your child can access iStation at home. As we scroll down the parent portal, we're going to see a lot of text, a lot of information on our children. Let's stop here first because we want you to understand that this student that we're looking at has a subscription through her school in reading and Spanish and math. Now, all children will not have all three subjects. What you will see here will depend on the subscription that your child has through their school. So we see that this child is enrolled in three subjects. And then the graph tells us how many minutes a month the child has worked in each of the subject areas. Now, that information is important because iStation recommends that students who are performing at grade level work in iStation in each of the subjects for about 30 minutes a week. And if your child is struggling to meet grade level expectations in their enrolled grade, then we suggest that the students work additional minutes, say 40 or more minutes a week in iStation. So this graph helps us keep track of how many minutes our kiddos are working in the program. And this information on the left also gives us very specific information about the days of the week and the minutes that the students have worked in the program. So let's keep going because the meat and potatoes of, of our tutorial lives here. We want to teach you how to access reports on your children that give you information about how your child is performing. And we want to teach you where to find resources that you can use in the home environment. So let's go first to reports. If I want to see how is my student performing on ICIP, I go here to the reports tab and I'm direct, I'm taken to this page on reports. So these are reports that are designed to tell you how your kiddo is performing across the year on ICIP. So let's take a look at two reports. The student summary handout is here. We have links to how the student is performing on ICIP reading, Spanish, and math. For the purposes of our tutorial today, we are going to stay with reading as the subject that we look at. So let's click on ICIP reading to view this report. And when I click there, a report is generated that tells me how my student is performing. Now, this is very text heavy parents, but it's very self-explanatory. You can read through that and you will be able to understand how is my student doing compared to other students in, that, in my child's enrolled grade level. Each of these little graphs shows you how they're performing each month that they take ICIP. And of course, we hope that we're going to see that each month they're growing over time. Sometimes that's not the case. And this data helps us know where my kids are. What are their strengths? What are their weaknesses? I have an overall area, overall reading that tells me how they're performing overall. And then the beauty of our reports is that your student's reading is broken down into four subtest areas. They're all important for developing as a comprehensive reader. So I can see how is my student doing in text fluency and comprehension and analyzing words when reading and in vocabulary. So this information is helpful for parents just to see how is my student performing and how are they performing compared to other children at their grade level at that point in time. So that is information on our student 
from the student summary report. We can see more information about how our students are growing off across time when we click, click on our growth report. So that's really valuable information and really interesting information for parents to use as they begin to understand how uh, to work with their children and what are their strengths and what are their weaknesses. Now let's go back home to the home page of our parent portal and let's scroll back down. We've taken a look at reports. We know how to find information on our children now. Now let's move on to resources because this is really what I'm excited to tell you about today. When I click on resources, I'm going to be taken to our resources page and we have resources here or lessons, parents, that you can deliver to your children. We have lessons in reading. So here's a quick look at our reading page. We have lessons in Spanish, if you have that subscription, and in math as well. If your student is a, a younger student, pre-K through one, here are the lessons that you can deliver to your child depending upon their needs. And then in grades two through eight, here are additional lessons for our older students in a variety of areas of math. Since we're using reading as our example today, let's go back to our reading resources tab. Now, the student that we're looking at is our demonstration today is currently working in cycle 14. In reading, our instruction is divided into cycles. The higher the number of the cycle, the more proficient the reader is. The student is in cycle 14. And so the lessons that have been selected for the student to work on are here. And so according to what the student might need to improve in reading, these lessons are here for parents to use. So for this student, making predictions is an area that we could work on with our student and sequencing. So let's click on this lesson, making predictions. I click on the lesson and then I can print it or I can download the lesson. Not all of our lessons have to be printed in order to deliver them, but this specific one would. But the lesson is here and this is an iStation Home lesson. This lesson was written by our curriculum writers specifically for parents. You don't have to be a teacher to deliver this lesson. It is written for parents to support their students learning at home. This lesson tells us what we're going to need to deliver the lesson. We're just going to need a writing utensil and we're going to need to print this lesson so that your student can read it and write on it. So I'm just gonna scroll down and give you an overview of the lesson, a quick glance at the lesson on making predictions. Everything you need to deliver that lesson is there for you parents. Don't get dizzy now. I'm going to go back up to the top and tell you a little bit more about it. So the words in bold are to be said aloud by the parent. So it's a script, parents. It walks you easily through how to deliver this lesson to your children. So you read the script to the children. It gives you examples of what you give to the child. It walks you through it step by step. Very easy to implement. And as a former principal, what I love about these lessons is that they are aligned to state standards. They are at a high level of rigor and they're written in a way that research tells us has high impact on learning. So I always feel good. I always felt good when my, my teachers we're delivering these lessons because I know the impact would be great on learning for my students. So it's exciting that iStation has offered these for our parents. And they're free to you with your child's subscription. So to access those lessons, let's go through that one more time. Here we are at our home page of the parent portal. We're going to scroll down to get to those lessons. We click on resources. And here are those lessons at our fingertips that have been specifically selected through our technology for your learner. And here are some other activities that you can do with your students above those pre-selected activities. That's certainly there as an option for you. Again, we have those, those lessons in Spanish and in math. 
And so parents, hopefully this tutorial has helped you see that iStation offers you both information and resources to help support your students learning at home. So thank you so much for joining us for our walk through the parent portal. And more importantly, thank you so much for the interest that you are showing in your child's education.